Hi, and welcome to Mustang Movies with Matt and Christy. I am Matt Carter. And I'm Christy Boutin. And we're very excited to have you back here for what is season three of our program now? Ooh, season three. You ever think we'd make it to three seasons? I, it's mind blowing. It really is. Wait, should we go by semesters or, or can we say season three? I'm saying season three. Okay. This is a professional program. I'm wearing a suit. He is. We need to work on, on our clothing arrangements. I'm going to look nice. There's well, my arrangement. Okay, we'll talk more about this off screen. Oh, yes, exactly. We love to start our show off with random banter. Mm -hmm. But what we are doing this week is we are kind of doing a summer movie flashback review award season, any, anything you want to call it. But what we're going to do is talk about our favorite movies over the summer, our least favorites, surprises, and of course, disappointments. All leading up to just having our regular movie forum again next week. We're not going to waste too much time with what's already happened. But let's start off first here with the favorites, and I'm going to turn it over to my partner in crime here, Christy. Yep. I'm going to talk about a movie that Matt has not watched. It is Mamma Mia. A cast has never looked like they've had more fun than the one in Mamma Mia. It's campy, it's over the top, and it features ABBA songs. And it's good. As the ingenious story goes, a bride-to-be invites her three possible fathers to her wedding. Sophie! Hiya. Your father! What? <laughs> Surprising everyone, including her unsuspecting mother. Some movies with too much camp cross into being bad, but an all-star cast led by Mira Streep and directed by Phil Philidia Lloyd knows just where the line is. The casting of Pierce Brosnan is questionable, especially given his inability to sing. It brings a laughable quality to an otherwise excellent musical. But I'm happy Amanda Seyfield, best known for a ditzy turn in Mean Girls and playing the catalytic character in the cult TV favorite Veronica Mars, gets her time to shine. Campy musical fans will get a huge kick out of seeing the likes of Street, Brosson, Colin Firth, Julian Walters, Christine Barinsky, and Stellan Skarsgård ham it up. Somebody up there has got it in for me. I bet it's my mother. Well, first of all, I'd love to say that it's really awesome that you started off this review with this is a movie that Matt has not seen. Well, yes. As if that is the most important thing about Mamma Mia, that I have not seen it. But I do love musicals, so I do not want to sit here and look like I'm just going to hate on it because it's a musical. But I'm going to check it out because I trust Christie's recommendation. And sometime. your mother's. And yes. my mother's. It's, I've had numerous thrown my way, but I trust Christie's recommendation occasionally more than my own. Now, of course, not everyone's going to like it. I mean, Ebert wrote in his review that this isn't a movie for him. He understands that. He sees why it's well, like musicals fans would like it, but it's not a movie for him. And so if it's not a movie yeah. for you, that's fine. Some musicals are too big. Yes. It's like the that's producers. Right. I love the movie version of the producers, but a lot of people didn't. Oh, you like the producers? Yeah, see, exactly. And I met with that See, face. that's campy. That's bad. I like campy. But anyway, I'm going to move on here with one of my favorites. 